as I do these video clips, I sometimes wonder how they'll be received. Will people find them intellectually superficial? Will they find them just wrong or uninteresting? How will they be criticized? One criticism I think that would be common would be don't criticize my religion or don't criticize religions in general. And well, first of all, I'm not criticizing religion just out of a meanness, just to take pot shots at religion for my own amusement. I'm doing, I'm saying things that I disagree with. I'm sharing my opinions. But secondly, religions criticizing other religions is, in the United States, we have this phrase as American as mom and apple pie. And I don't know how you transfer that to religions, but religions criticizing other religions is very, very common. We saw in a previous clip how the Bible says that the Hebrews killed the Canaanites, men, women, children, babies, everyone. And how the apologist in that previous clip said that this was okay, that it brought the babies salvation, the Canaanite babies, and that it was necessary so that the Canaanites wouldn't pollute. The Hebrews. So the, the Hebrews, the Jewish people, decided that they were God's chosen people. Okay. But basically, they're God's chosen people and other religions aren't. And in the in Old Testament, they basically killed the people of other religions, tear down their temples, etc. Now in Catholic school, I learned that, well, the Jewish people used to be God's chosen people. But they didn't accept Jesus, and Jesus gave his authority to St. Peter, who by tradition died in Rome, and Peter passed it on to the Bishop of Rome, who we call the Pope. And so now, guess who God's special people are? Catholics. Well, uh, a few centuries later, actually several centuries later, the Protestant Reformation came, and uh, Martin Luther, I believe, he was the one that called the Pope, the whore of Satan. So he probably didn't have a high opinion of the Pope or Catholicism. And then a Protestants decided that sola scripture, that following the Bible made them true Christians and people of God, not like that uh, Romanish uh, Papist church, Catholic church that had all these old pagan defilements in it. And so they became God's special people. I heard a radio preacher once, as I mentioned before, say that if you weren't baptized by immersion, you were going to hell. So apparently all the Protestants weren't God's special people, just the ones baptized by immersion. There's an ancient myth about Achilles heel Achilles was dipped in a river, so he'd been invulnerable, but his heel wasn't covered by the water, and eventually an arrow in his heel killed him. And I wonder if baptized by immersion people, what would happen if someone wasn't totally immersed, and their, if their ear somehow didn't go under the water? Would they get, that, get to go to heaven and be told, sorry, law is the law, no entrance, got to go to the other place? Some years ago, I read about Islam, and guess what? Well, you see, God tried to give us his message, and the Jewish people got it, but not quite right. And then he sent Jesus, who was just a prophet, not the son of God, according to Islam. And Jesus kind of improved on the message, but didn't quite get it right either. At least, at least the Christians worshipped him as God, and that's wrong. So Muhammad is called the seal of the prophets. You see, the idea is, if they're Muhammad, there won't be a need for any more prophets, because he finally got it right. The Quran is exactly what God wanted to be written. So according to Islam, I guess they're God's special people, not those Christians and not those Jewish people. For a time when I was younger, I thought, well, how could anybody be a Protestant? Did Jesus come and then for 1500 years, his message was lost? Weren't the Catholics the original Christians? But in another clip, I talked about the Filioque phrase, how those wild and crazy Catholics added a phrase to the Nicene Creed and how the Patriarch of Constantinople and the Pope excommunicated each other. 
Well, I once read a book written by an Eastern Orthodox monk, and it's been many years. I, don't, I could never find the book. But in the book, he referred to the so-called churches of the West. So it seems like uh, the Catholics aren't uh, God's special people either. So religion one-upmanship, criticism of other religions, is as common as apple pie. And often people have killed people of other religions, or at least said that they were going to hell. And I do neither. I'm just presenting my beliefs. My beliefs do not agree with religion all the time, and I present beliefs which disagree with the religion. So I'm criticizing religion. But if you think that shouldn't be done, please check your own religion first. You know, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. So thank you.